Pig and the Camping Trip. Peppa Pig and her brother George are very excited. They are going on vacation. Daddy Pig is bringing a surprise. What's that? asks Peppa when Daddy Pig arrives. It's a camper van, says Daddy Pig. Yes, says Mummy Pig, we borrowed it for our trip. It does everything, says Daddy Pig. This button here is for the sink, and this one is for the beds. The beds, asks Peppa. Just wait, says Daddy Pig. The camper van is full of surprises. After a long drive, Peppa and her family arrive at the campsite. It's time for bed, says Daddy Pig. But where will we sleep, asks Peppa. Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed, says Daddy Pig, and you two will sleep upstairs like you always do, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig pushes a button. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house, says Peppa. The next morning, the sun is shining. Since we're outdoors, let's spend the day looking at nature, says Mummy Pig. Good idea, says Daddy Pig. What should we do? Well, there are lots of fun places we can visit, says Mummy Pig. How about Duckland? What's Duckland? asks Peppa. It's a wide river full of ducks, says Mummy Pig. Peppa and George love ducks. Let's go to Duckland, says Peppa. When they arrive at Duckland, Miss Rabbit gives them their tickets. Enjoy the ducks, she says. But the river is empty. Where are the ducks? asks Peppa. Maybe they're on vacation too, says Mummy Pig. Let's wait for them while we have our picnic lunch. I don't want to wait, Mummy, says Peppa. Cheer up, Peppa. The ducks will always turn up when we have picnics, says Daddy Pig. Look, says Peppa, it's the ducks. Quack, 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 quack. There are lots of them. All the ducks, brothers and sisters are here. And aunties and uncles, I bet too, says Peppa. What about the granny and grandpa ducks, asks Mummy Pig. They're here too, says Peppa. It's a whole duck family. I love duck land. Soon it's time to head back to the campsite. Everyone in, says Daddy Pig. I know a shortcut back to camp. A shortcut? Where are we going? Straight ahead, shouts Daddy Pig. The camper van creeps toward the river's edge. But Daddy, says Peppa, we can't drive into the water. Don't worry, says Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig pushes a button on the dashboard. Like I said, this camper van does everything. Daddy Pig drives straight into the river. The camper van has turned into a boat. Ahoy! Peppa and her family arrive back at the campsite. What will we do next? asks Peppa. How about a nature walk? asks Mummy Pig. Splendid idea, says Daddy Pig. The camper van has a treadmill, of course. We'll set it up with a nice view of the trees. Peppa laughs, but Daddy, we can't just walk through the woods. Peppa and George love to take walks outside. They spot lots of animals. They see a bird, a grasshopper, and a hedgehog. Hello, hedgehog, says Peppa. Peppa and George keep walking. Look at all the sticks on the ground, says Peppa. Daddy Pig told us to collect some on our nature walk. I wonder what they're for. We'll use them to cook our dinner, says Mummy Pig. But first, we have to pitch our tent. Tent, asks Peppa. What about the camper van? No camper van tonight, says Mummy Pig. We're going to sleep under the stalls instead. Everyone helps pitch the tent. This is the same tent that I had when I was a little boy, says Daddy Pig. It looks a bit little, says Peppa. It suited me just fine then, says Daddy Pig. Yes, but you've grown since then, Daddy Pig, says Mummy Pig. And your tummy has grown most of all, Peppa giggles. Speaking of tummies, it's time for supper, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig builds the fire. They all eat tomato soup. 
Time for bed, says Daddy Pig. Peppa and George snuggle into sleeping bags. Stars shoot across the sky above their heads. Do you miss the camper van, Peppa? Asks Mummy Pig. Oh no, says Peppa, unless it has a button for shooting stars. They all giggle. I love camping. The end.